Hello again folks, this is your friend and your host Normandy Junction, welcome back to another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic in Minecraft on a scale of 4 to 1. And in today's episode we're going to be finishing off, well not finishing off, continuing B deck. And uh, today we're going to be finishing off the cabins of the actual deck and heading towards the aft grand staircase as well. So we've got a bit of work to do but let's get cracking. But before I begin, thank you all again for joining the channel. And if you like what you see tonight, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a like, consider it a share or tell your friends about it it does help the channel grow it would help immensely but once again thank you for sticking with me and let's get some work done tonight so let's get going so let's head over to B deck which I'm gonna head over to this way and I'm gonna put some night vision on now because this is what I need all right so let's head over to the B deck now here we go so this is what we're gonna be working on we're gonna be doing the layouts of the last couple of cabins of the deck and we'll be working all the way up to this frame here, which is frame 49 of the stern. Okay, so this is the area we're going to be working on today. So I'm going to be doing the layout on port and starboard side because the sides are different. Uh, it's like two or more ways. There is a couple of extra rooms as well. Uh, but like I say as well, folks, like I say, uh, we just need to get this part done. So let's get cracking. So I'm going to start on the port side tonight. And um, we'll work our way around the, the actual room. Like I say, I'll be doing some quick doors and walls, but like I say, it will be pretty much the same pattern as we're doing the past couple of videos. Uh, but like I say, we, I just want to get this done today. So this first frame, this one here, we're looking at straight now. You just need grey concrete. And this is frame number 28 of the stern. Yep, this is where we finished frame 28. And this is cabin B686. Yes, uh, no, sorry, 66. Where am I looking? <laughs> so on B66. Right, so okay, so let me get my bearings right. Okay, so I want to make sure I get this right. I sure it was. I feel that's 86. Maybe I just read it wrong. Yeah, 84. It was 86. I'm sorry, sorry for that, folks. Let's change that now. So that is a frame number 86. Now let me get that done now. B86. Right, so great concrete. Come to this corner. Give yourself a gap of. Well, you need to go backwards actually. So starting here, we go one two and then a three put a block down but it'd be a great concrete so it'd be one two and three okay so that's just a doorway on its own it's a little corridor with a uh, cabinet at the end there we will have to alterate some windows as well but if you're doing the titanic version you won't need to but if you want to do the olympic we will need to change some windows okay so let's just do the layout first so after lay down the gray concrete uh you come over to this block here this is block number 29, so, and we're going to take it all the way up to the end of, end of the wall there. So I'm just lay down all these blocks here. Do, 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 do. And replace the quartz one with the grey. Okay, so that, this is actually just a little corridor. Uh, but there is going to be a doorway here as well. So I'm going to add the doorway now. So we've got to the grey concrete to this block. And go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Replace the next three. Put those three blocks down. Okay, so it should line up, or should line up with the next corridor along. Uh, bear me one second. I think I might have done it wrong. So it means I think we need to come one more in. So if you just bear with me, folks, let me check my notes. I'm making a really good start. <laughs> okay, so after doing that, we're going to go back here to this corner. Go forward by five. One, two, three, four, and five. And on the six block, uh, do three grey blocks to the left. So it's on the six block. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's the block there. Okay, so continuing on, put down another grey block next to it, and then another three grey blocks, and get your light greys, and come back by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're flush with that wall there. Okay, continuing on, go for it, go to the left by three. One, two, and three. And then do another block and go forward by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. And then go forward another three. One, two, and three. Okay. So this is the toilet for this cabin here. Uh, okay. So continuing on. So the grey concrete on this block here. If I will try and go a bit higher so a bit more sense. So this block here, go two to the left. One, two. And after the two, do a three of the grey. Light back to light grey and do another two. And do one more. And come back by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And basically just join it up to the right. Okay, this is the bathroom. Okay, so I'll just put it down there. Uh, B, A, T, H, of course. Bath, all your capitals, can't be bothered. <laughs> uh, so the next one, I'll just put the loo. Loo. Okay, so coming back, 
And we're going to be going from this corner now. Go forward by three. Uh, oh, it's three grey concrete blocks, by the way. One, two, and three. And then we'll go back to light grey. And we should be forward all the way up to the end of the under the wall. Continue it forward. We place the quartz block at the bottom. There we go. Now come back to this doorway which I've laid down here. To the top of it. So I mean this block here. Put one down to the right. And go across by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And from this block corner here. Just go backwards. So it'll be 1. I'll just double check as well. Let me check my notes folks. Actually sorry. It's backwards by 3 grey concrete. So that's another doorway. And then one, two, and three. Okay, so that's what it should look like now. So that is that cabin completed. And the cabin number for this one is, let me just find it on my plan, B88 of the stone. B88. So remember what I said before, on the port side it's evens and starboard side it's odds. So that's that cabin completed. And like I said before, there was a doorway here on the right. So coming from this corner, go back to your grey concrete. This one here. One, two, three, and four. And then remove three. So it links up really. It's parallel. So there is a doorway going into this cabin from this side. Like I said before, there was like a set of doorways going through the entire length. I still don't know why. If you can find out for me, leave it in the comments below, please. So we're going on to the next uh, cabin now. So we'll come back from this corner here of the corridor. Get your light grey. And go forward by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And after you go forward by seven... Go forward by one more block and three to the left. Two, three. So let me just double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And on the eighth block, three to the left. Okay. And after completing that, um, I mean, one second. Oh, sorry. It is a doorway. That is another doorway. Okay. And then put a grey block at the end. Come back by one. And then one, two, and three. And then light grey, one, two, and three. So we're lined up flush there. Okay. Now continuing this on, on this block here, go to the left by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This block counts as 10 and 11. Okay, and then this should be frame number 37, this one here, frame 37, which it is. Okay, so put a block on frame 37 and take it to the end of the room. Well, the end of the ship, really. To the side of the ship. There we go. Uh, like I said before, come back over to the two doorways here. This will be two cabins in this one. So I'm going from this corner, these two light grey concrete blocks. Go forward by one, two, uh, go forward by 11. So that's one, two, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then take one block to the left, come back by three, and put down another block there. All right. In fact, I think I've gone wrong somewhere. Get me, let me show. Oh, I realised what I forgot to do in this room here, folks. I've missed out the uh, the wardroom, and I've just put that in the wrong place as well. So I'll put that back down in a minute. So I'll come back to this corner here, folks, and you go forward by f one, by four, one, two, three, and four, and then you get the light a grey concrete. Go to the left, one, two, and three. That's the door, and the light concrete is an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, some more night vision. Okay, so once again, this cabin number is a B88. There you go. This is the wardrobe room. Uh, like I say, yeah, this is the little corridor to get to your loo. And this is your bath. There you go. So, continue on here. Go back to grey concrete at the top here. One, two, and three. And join it up to the wall. Same again. Come back to this corner here. And join it up across. Get a signpost. And once again, it's a wardrobe room. I just put D WR. Wardrobe room. Okay. And now, so that is now complete. And that cabin number is, uh, it is a B90. There you go. And this rock cabin here is a B92. Right, so that is all the cabins completed so far, but there are a few more to go. Okay, so what we need to do next is get a light grey concrete block. Okay, now from this corner here, give gap of three, one, two, and three. Put one block down. And then you take it forward by 19, so that's one already. 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and 19. And after 19 blocks, put one block to the left and you just join it up to the end of that wall there. Okay, so let's take it right across. So as you can see, we're pretty much closing in now on the staircase. So come back over to this corner, from this corner here. You're going to go forward by three, but don't put any blocks down. One, two, and three. Fourth block, put a block down. Get your grey, go three to the right. So that's another doorway. And then come back to this grey concrete block and go to the left by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so you're on frame 40. This is frame 40. A good reference is the staircase. If you're between that line there, that's a frame 40. Uh, okay, so coming back to frame 40, go forward by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There you go. So this is another small cabin here. Okay, so it doesn't affect any of the windows. That's great. And this cabin number is B94. Done. Okay, now come back over to this corner here. Okay, now continue, go forward by one, get your grey, go to the left by three. There you go. Light grey concrete again. Now one second folks, just let me get my notes. One block, and then get your grey concrete block and come back by three. And get one little grey concrete block there. Okay, there's going to be two more cabins here and that is it for the star, but it's the, for the port side. So light grey concrete again. And what you're going to do? is you're going to, from this grey concrete block here, go to the left, towards the stern, should I say, by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that will put you on frame 43. And go forward 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. So that concludes all the rooms. Brilliant. Okay, so let me get the room numbers for you. So this room here is a B number 96. And that will leave this room here, B 98. Lovely, brilliant. Okay, so that is a starboard side. Oh, hi, hi matey. Uh, that is the starboard side, all oh, sorry, not starboard side, the port side. <laughs> Get my act together, come on. That's the port side layout of all the cabins completed. So like I say, yep, yeah, there's going to, so once again, if you want to do your pattern like I've done, or your own patterns here, all you'll need to do is put it on the outside of the wall, basically where the corridors are. This side, I'm going to be doing a different pattern, but it will be counted for us here. So what I mean by this is once again, it's uh, one, two, three, uh, put a quartz block down, then it's one, two, three, and four. And then put your quartz block and at the top do a gray block. Okay, so it all links up. And once again, once you've laid down this pattern, this entire pattern here, you need to put it again on the roof. So what I mean by this is once you get to the top, okay, you just put the pattern again. So it'll be like, um, so like so from here. So just go straight to the top, quick, take the quartz block out, go right across. Basically, you look at the bottom, look at your pattern, but the only difference is you don't do the the grey, so you just do it all in light grey. Okay, so you're repeating the pattern on the roof. Okay, if that makes sense. Hope it does. So I'll be doing that in a jump cut, folks. So, but once again, I will have to do the port side. But what I'm going to do first, we need to get this uh, staircase basically cornered off. So you bear with me one second. Okay, so all you'll need is come to the back of the shaft here. This is the, let me find what it is. It's the lighting case. It's the lights, uh, lights and air to the second class gallery. Okay, so this is the, basically the air and light. So come to the back, come to, which is frame 49, put a block there to the left. And you're gonna take it all the way across. Okay. Until, wait one second, you come to end here. So basically where this corner is, go one, two, three, four, and five, and you join it up across the front. Same again, one, two, three, four, and five, and you join it up again across the front. There we go, that's that done. Brilliant. Okay, so coming back across. Okay, now I will have to probably do some alterations here, because I think 
the doorway is going to take effect again because where we are. Let me just double check my notes, folks. Yeah, I think we will have to change a few things. Right, okay, so just bear with me. Okay, well, what I'm going to do first is we're going to do... Well, we'll finish there. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut now. I'm going to do the patterns I want, want you to do. Doorways are the same if you want to put your fake blocks again, as we've done before in the previous episodes. And the outside will be like, you know, the blue terracotta and the quartz. All right, so I'll be back in just a moment, folks, while I finish filling in these cabins. Right, I'm back again, folks, and as you can see, I have done nothing. <laughs> right, okay, I've been sorting out why this um, design's gone a little bit wrong with this double door. Okay, so I've decided to take the door out. We're going to take this double door out, folks. Okay, so we're going to basically block it up. Because this section here is for a gallery and a pantry and for a wine rack as well. And it's a little office. Uh, but it does cover the entire section here. So I don't think, because I'm really looking at the, the plant here, I don't think there's any need for this doorway here. So we're going to block it up, folks. So easy for me to do. Uh, I could just pick a block. Go from left to right. And fill it in. There we go. So that's that door. Little doorways there. So you will have to fill this doorway in, folks. If you want to move it down to the bit to the left, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Uh, like I say, we will figure out where I went on later on, later on. But we can remove this doorway here. Okay. And let's get rid of those grey complaints with the light grey. So as I said before. Uh, we're going to continue now with this grand staircase, come back to frame 49 and where this block is here, join it up to the end of the room. Okay, and what else you need to do is get a black concrete block or any other colour just so it stands out. Uh, so for me I'm going to definitely going to go for the black one. You need to lay down a line from this corner all the way across. Okay. And you're going to go right across the room as well with it. Okay. It's basically we're going to do an in a, in a pattern. So we can do two patterns along the room. And what we need to do next is take it across as well. So that encompass the entire staircase room. Grand staircase. The aft grand staircase. The reception room as well. This was a little reception room as well. Okay. That leads on to the restaurant. Okay. So finishing that. Like I say, I will do that all in the jump cut. And another good piece of good news, guys. We only have to change one window. Which is where we were at the beginning. Between frames number 28 and 29. So, it's one doorway here. I mean, it won't affect it if you're doing the Titanic. But it does affect it if you want to keep to the Olympics. So, I have moved it across in between two here. And once again, I've filled it up again. And you just need to basically move it across. I've done the buttons on the outside. So I moved it all across by one. But this cabin here only had two windows. Okay, so like I said, each cabin, as you can see, I mean, this one's got three. He's a little bit spoiled. Or she. A uh, two, a uh, two, and a two. Right, brilliant. Okay, so we're moving on. Okay, so we're going to be doing... So that is the layout all done for the port side. Now we're going to do the starboard side. So I'm going to come right across. Okay, you do keep that doorway there because that does lead out. We do need that one. But once again... We come over to, the, over to the corner. I should have got my notes ready. You probably can hear the paper. I might do a little screenshot for you. Just shows you what sort of paperwork I work on. Uh, we suffer for the art. Right, okay. So once again, let's get some night vision. Moving on. Get your grey concrete block. Come over to this block here. This is on a frame number 27, uh, 28. And you come backwards by three again. One, two, and three. Get a grey concrete block. One, two, and three. Okay, and then get light grey. One, two, three, four, and five. And after the fifth one, put another block down. Uh, grey concrete, come back by three. One, two, and three. Get your light grey again. And take it across the end of the room. Okay, and as you can see here, yes, you will have to move this window to the left. Okay, well, that's the bow there. That's the stern. So, yeah, you're going from right to the left. you got to put it in between the two frames here. But that is the only window you'll be changing. Okay, that's great. All right, coming back on. Light grey. Okay, so come back to this corner here on the grey block. Put one grey down. Go forward by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And take, go to the back and take it all the way up to the back of the room there. Okay, no, sorry, no, you're not taking it to the back of the room. What am I talking about? Go back again. So I do apologise. Once again, folks, never record late at night. All right, come back by three. One, two, and three. To the left by two. Grey. One, two, three. That's your door for your bath. 
And after that, do another three. One, two, and three. And go forward by ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then join up the rooms. Okay, so that's that bit done. And after that one, come back to this corner. Go to the left by four. One, two, three, and four. Come back by six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And after the six block, do one more block. Gray to the f one, two, three. I say that's your Lou. Um, Lou. Come on. Done. I'll put there bath. Okay. And then get your light grey concrete again. From this block, come back by three. One, two, and three. Get your grey. One, two, and three. We'll get your light grey. Yeah, so it's all joined up now. Put one more block down by, and go back by four. One, two, three, and four. So you've got five blocks there in total. And come back by another four. One, two, three, and four. Get light grey concrete. One, two, and three. Once again, that's your doorway in between the two rooms because it lines up with that one just there. That's great. And for the light grey concrete, again, it's nine blocks to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Brilliant. Okay, so after that, come back to this doorway here, put one block on the right, come back by three, one, two, and three, and then put down another block. This is your wardrobe room again. So go from this one, go to the right by eight, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then get your grey concrete, one, two, and three, and then get your light grey, and forward by another four, one, two, three, and four, and join it up to the left. There we go. And get your grey concrete and join them up. So that's the doorway in there. Okay, so this cabin number, let me just find it on the plan, is B87. Okay. If you hear any squeaking, guys, that's my chair, my PC desk chair. I think I need to get a new one. Okay, so I apologise for that. So coming back to this corner here at the top where the loo was. Okay, go across by three, one, two, three, leave a gap, put one grey concrete block down, come back by two, and then get your grey and do a three, one, two, and three, light grey, put down two, get your grey, three to the right. Okay, so that's the doorway to get into the cabin, get your light grey, and come back by eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then go to the left by three with a grey, that's another door, and then it's another eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, put down one more block, go forward by four, one, two, three, four, and join it up right to left, uh, left to right. Okay, so that's the wardrobe room, room doing now, so coming back from this corner, uh, go forward, actually we'll go from this corner here, uh, go to the left by 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 11. And come backwards. The entire length. Ooh, I've gone wrong a bit wrong somewhere. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. It was 11. And then it's another block. So it's 12 in total. And come backwards. So that is on frame number 37 of the stern. So coming backwards. So that's that bit done there. So that's that cabin done. So that is cabin B91. B91. Not 92, 91. Mm. It's great. Okay, so going back, so that say that's your wardrobe there. Okay, and then this cabin number is a B89. So come back to your light grey concrete, come back to that corner and join it up all the way to the end. There's no doorway here, this is where the doorway ends to get from the cabin to cabin. Okay, so moving on. Have I done everything there? Yeah, I think I have done. Let me just double check. Yep, we're done. We're good. Okay, yep, yeah, there was no doorway there into that cabin because we've already got that doorway here, so that corridor blocks it off. Right, so coming back over to here now, let's work our way back. So from this wall here, this one, on this line, come back by three. One, two, and three. And on the fourth one, put one to the left. And I just realized it should have been a great concrete, so that's the door. 
and then put down 12, is it 12, 3, 6, 7, 8 and 9, no it's 9, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9, so that is frame 40, and then you come back by 12, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 and 12, there we go, so that cabin number is a B93, okay, now continuing on, light grey concrete, come back to this corner, come back by one, grey concrete I meant, and three to the left, so that's another doorway done. So let me get my notes again. Okay, after that, one light grey to the left, get your grey concrete again, one, two and three, that's another doorway, one, one light grey concrete, and put down another one, and you can join this block here to the left, which fills out the room, there we go. Now coming back to this doorway here, this corner here, okay, and then you go, let's find my notes again, uh, 11 to the right, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, and put one, one more block down to make it 12, and you go forward by 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so we're flush. And that is it. Uh, actually, sorry, I do realize I need to uh, corner these two cabins off. So this cabin, this block here, bear with me, more night vision. Okay, so this block here, go to the left by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And basically go to the end of the wall. And that's it. So like I say once again, the only window we're changing is that window where the corridor is. But I'll do that on the jump cut. Uh, let's then get my signpost again. So let me zoom out a little bit so you can see a bit more better. So this cabin here is a B95. And this one is B97. I just point out as well, folks, get your black concrete again. Now, obviously, this wall here is going to be the outer wall, which is of the deck. Okay, so but if you want to redecorate it, all you have to do is put a black concrete line or any light color you like, and you build your wall on there. And it's the same as well for the inside of the cabin. Uh, so, like I say, you can make that a different color. But like I say, once again, get your black concrete, go from this corner, go right across, and then go to the back. Because I say we're going to basically we're going to seal this bit off. But what we need to do first. Once again, come back to frame 49 on the back here from this corner. You're going to come back by at least a second. So, so as you mind, the black concrete line goes to about here. So we'll just put that all down there. Like that. So that is on a frame number. Let me find the frame number. Six. That's 47. Uh, sorry, that's... Uh, that's frame 48 there. Let's have a check that frame number. 49, 48... No, sorry, it's 47. Yeah, that's 47. Is it frame 47? No, it's frame 49. What am I talking about? Uh, one second. I want to show I've got this right. Yeah, it's frame 49. Frame 49. Okay, frame 49 of the stern. Okay, that's that done. Right, sorry about that. Moving on. I got lost. Oh, lost my translation somewhere. Okay, frame 49, you take the frame, you got the number, take it all the way back. Right, so get this block here. And I think it's roughly about 20 blocks. Then just double check. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And that leaves a gap of about 5, which is what we want. Actually, no, it's a gap of 6, so we'll go back by 1. Okay, so yeah, it's 20 in total from that corner there. Okay, so as long as you have a gap of six blocks from the doorway to this corner, you're absolutely fine. And what you do next is obviously put one block to the left to indicate it is a corner. Get your black concrete. Put one block down there. And join it up to the centre. Okay. But like I say, we can just work, we can put the wall on there now, on here, because it's not going to affect basically this part here of this inner side of the gallery. Hope that makes sense. So, sorry if my uh, instructions are not very really clear tonight. It is quite late tonight. I am a bit tired, but I'll soldier on for you. 
So we'll leave that doorway exactly where it is, because this leads to an office, which is a white wine and office room. But we're not going to be doing that today, so I'll say we're focusing on here. Okay, so once again, okay, so once again, if you want to go from this corner, it's 20 blocks all the way across there. Okay, and you can just put a black concrete block there to indicate on this side of the room. But we'll say we don't have to do anything here for the doorway. So the pattern, once again, I will be doing my style here. I'll be indicating on the black concrete lines, uh, sorry, not the black concrete, the grey concrete lines, because the black concrete is going to be a different pattern, all the way up to here on the inside. So what I'll do, I'm going to do a chunk cut now. I'm going to fill out all these cabins. The inside of the cabins, I'll just be using quartz blocks because it's quick and easy and leaves you a chance to do your own patterns and designs. So I'm going to fill out both sides now and we'll be working on the staircase. So once again, folks, I'll be back in a moment. Pause recording. Right, I'm back again. So I've completed now the both the port and the starboard side of the cabins. I'll just give you a quick uh, fly through for so we'll see what I've done. I've also added some fake blocks there so I can get for the doorways a bit more easier. <laughs> so rather than go all the way around. So like I say, with the cabin numbers, you just put them on top of the doors. And another thing as well, where the grey concrete line is, like I said, we've done the previous video. If you just get some quartz stairs, you can just round off and make your way around the entire pattern as so. So like I say, yeah, so that's all doing now. So we're going to be doing, uh, there's just one more thing we need to do before we go further. I'm just going to come back over to this side down here. So this is the pattern I've done on the walls. Like I say, you don't have to um, repeat my pattern. This is just my interpretation of it. Uh, but like I say, if you come over to cabin B98. Now, what I was saying before about this back wall here, because obviously we're going to be outside on the other wall. Uh, but it's also going to leave uh, a block over the window. Okay, so probably the best thing to do is to take out the glass. Fill it with quartz. Obviously, you will have to do the buttons on the outside. Okay, and then you just can just fill it in with white concrete there. And of course, as well, folks, we do need to do the interior portals. So once again, you just need four quartz there. So that's one, two, three, and four. And just get your quartz sideways tab. If you've got the item part, like I say, I do leave the link in the descriptions in the descriptions below. Okay, and we just need a quartz slab now, which I forgot to get again. So I'll quickly get that done now for you guys. And then we're going to move, it, move it on to the staircase itself next. Okay, just use that one for now. Right. Done. Done. So like I say, for this one, it's a smaller window now. So you can just get quartz stairs, quartz stairs, quartz stairs, quartz stairs. Like I say, if you're doing the Titanic, I mean, I have done um, a video before how to do the windows on B-Deck. I'll leave in the link in the description below if you're not too certain. I'm trying to get that fixed now. So does someone it doesn't want to go in? There we go. So let's try again. Get rid of that. No, stop playing up. Why is it not letting me do it? Ugh, I'll have to come back to it later. Try and fix it. So I'll move on. <laughs> so that's what it'll look like. Okay, so like I say, if you go to another cabin here, uh, let's say this one here. Uh, so we just need to do all the portholes there but like I say I'll do that in the jump cuts like I say you don't want to see me do all these portholes all these windows uh, but like I say if you want to continue doing the Olympic I say you will need to do alterations uh, but like I say for the Titanic it's absolutely fine you can leave it as it is there you go done right let's move on so now so like I said before with the black concrete line it's going to give us the chance to do the basically the interior walls here for the staircase area now I've seen some photographs now these walls were white or you know like a like a quartz pillar blocks type okay so I'm just gonna do my style I mean you can put anywhere you like but I've already put some blocks down already so just to quicken up process so get a quartz pillar come up this is the port side by the way facing the bow put one block down and you just repeat the pattern so it's one two three and get quartz block one two three four quartz block this other side one two three, well, three. <laughs> quartz block one two three four on the pillar quartz block there go across the top go across the top there but instead of the terracotta blue I'm just gonna fill it, fill it in with white concrete so I can say it's a gap of one, two, three, four, five, six in the middle. Okay, so six in the middle. 
So what I'm going to do now to speed things up, and obviously grey concrete at the top to match it. So what you can do as well, when you get your quartz stairs, you can just go all the way around like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. And that's that bit done there. Okay, so like I say, you just fill in all the grey concrete around the, this part of the deck. Like I say, I'll just be doing the off court. It just speeds up the video quicker. Alright, so the next place I'm going to show you is where to put the, all the quillet, pillar, quartz, pillar quartz now. <laughs> I still can't get my words out tonight. So that's one, that's two, let's copy that one. Okay, so that's a gap of six. So it's another good one, two, three, four, five, six. You put another one there, then a gap of two. We'll put that one in there. Go to the left. Straight away, you need one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's get that on there. There we go. For what I'll do, I'll copy it from that side now. I'm um, using the frames as a reference here. Just go two along like this. And obviously you'll have one left there, so it'll just be one left there. That's before frame number 48. So that's frame 49, so that's frame 48, so we're on the black concrete line now. Now the black concrete line, it will need a gap of four. Okay, oh, I did that wrong. Okay, let me just copy it again, make sure I'm doing it right. Copy, gap of four, so that's four block gap. And then another four block, block gap. <laughs> four block gap. Gap, oh, I can't get my words out tonight. So four block gap. Yeah, I did it. And then it's a f another four. And then it's one, two, three, four, another four. And then a one, two, three, four, and another four. So they're all fours, basically. Okay, but just bear me one second, folks. Okay, so that's that side easily done. Like I say, just match these quartz boxes with quartz pillows as pillars as so. And you just fill it all in white concrete. And obviously you don't forget to the top. Quartz pillar. There's no doorways on this side, so it's completely blocked off. There we go. The reason I want to put that grey line because obviously this is the galley section for the second class area. So, like I say, this area will all be a different wall type. It gives us, you know, manoeuvre to play with. So, carrying on. So, come over the corner here. So, you'll have a gap of three, then a block. You turn inwards. Right, what I'll do, bear one second. Still got it. Yeah, there, still got it. So, I'll put that down there. Now, it's a gap of three again. Then another gap of three. And then it's a gap of four. Because you'll be in the centre. The centre line just there. Okay. And then you go back to another four going outwards. Then a three. Then a three. And then turn inwards. Then it's another three. And then it is a four. And then another four. And another four. Followed by a three. Done. Okay, so that's how it should look like in there. So like I say, it'll all be white. Uh, but I say, if you want to do a different styles, by all means, folks. I'm not stopping you. This is my interpretation. But I'm coming over to the starboard side again, once again. Uh, same as before. One, two, three. Quart block of quartz. One, two, three, four. Block of quartz. And you can just do the light grade concrete as well. I'll be just doing the copy and paste method to speed it up. So it's a gap of six again. Put a pillar down, a gap of six. Followed by a gap of two. Turn inwards. Head towards the stern now. And followed by another gap of two. Then use the frames as a reference, but you need to do a gap of three first. Followed by two frames, so that's six, seven blocks. Followed by another seven blocks. And another seven blocks. What I mean reference the frame is these lines, these quartz lines here. And that will finish off on this doorway. Okay? And what we can do as well, where the black concrete is, we can put another pillar down. Just like that. And then get your pillar quartz. Go right across the top. Followed by your white con oh well, sorry. Light grey. Alright, so yeah, so it'll be all around now, so it's pretty easy to do. Uh, there's a couple of pillars we need to put down for this grand staircase, so you need a wood block. Uh, let's get one now. Oak wood. Right there. Okay, the oak wood, 
is on frame 46, which is here, which I've marked. Frame 46. Okay. And what you do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's that one there, basically on their <laughs> middle cross section. And you go up by 4, 2, 3, 4. Let's do the same on the other side. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then I'll be using, if you've got them, the beams. Uh, beam. Uh, not beam. Can't spell. Beam. There you go. And I'll use a bit. I don't want beam for this one. Be a bit different. And so that is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay. And then just one up. Um, an oak block there. I mean, any block you like. I'm just going to use the wood block. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One at the top. And then for the grand staircase, from this block here, I'm going to use the oak wood again. again just go straight across. Oh, excuse me. Go straight across again. And straight across again. Okay, and that should lead to this section here. All right. So you'll just stop just before the grey concrete line. What I mean is it'll be there. But I'll just take it out. There you go. And the same for the other side. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get all these walls finished. Another famous jump cut coming up. Another thing we need to do, folks, all the quartz blocks you see in the grand staircase section, just replace them with quartz pillars. It just makes it look a bit nicer. I mean, I know I've still got to do all the lights and stuff, but I'm going to leave that for another video. Okay, so like I said, all this section here, there's only a couple of beams here, but I'm going to go all the way up to about the doorway there, I say. Okay, about there. And all this section we need to do as well. Right, brilliant. Okay, so, yep, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back in the room now, folks. And this is how it should look like at this moment in time. So we are nearly there. So we just need to put the floor down now. And I just want to change one more thing. Uh, these pillars, I said, go up by one, two, three, four blocks. It's actually five blocks. So I didn't get it parallel with the uh, rest of the banister there. Okay, so that's all done there. So that's that correction done. Right, so we're doing the floor now. So once you know, again, you just need quartz slabs. Now, from the previous corridor, we uh, we did, I'd say, put it to the side there. Uh, but like I say, from going in through this door, to get your trusty red and bright brick slab, put one block down at each corner, and then come in by one. Okay, and then move outwards. So you go along the, along the staircase. Just leave yourself a perimeter of one block away from the edge of the staircase. There we go. So I'll take that back to the doorway now. And once again, when we get to the end there, all that done. And we'll same again. Go one for the side and come across by one and come your way in until you get to the outer wall. And then go all the way around where the black concrete is, but leaving a gap of one. I'll get this quickly filled in now for you guys. So bear with me. Like I say, if you've got any questions about my builds or my tutorial videos, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll respond as soon as I can. Okay? Now, come to this doorway here. Like I say, this is on... What side is this? Again? I lost track now. Starboard side. Starboard side first in, first in the stern. From this corner, just come in by another one block, and then another block and go forward by one. Same with this side where the black concrete is. Forward. Uh, leave, a block, leave a gap of one. One, two, three, four. And then go forward by one because you come to the doorway. Then go to the right by three. One, two, three. One more. Come back by one and continue to the right. Okay, so it leaves it like that. Okay. But I just want to take it just as far as the doorway there, the grey concrete. Because they say the next video will be proceeding a bit more towards. So it could be another two videos and then we finish the deck. Or I'm going to try and cram it all in one. Uh, but say continuing the style here. And like I said, this is my interpretation. I mean, if you want to do something different, go straight ahead. Not a problem. Uh, okay, so just bear me one second and put it all the way back. There we go. Oh, don't want to make a double. 
and then get your quartz sl slabs and you just fill in the gaps. Like I say, go all the way around the set of one. Uh, we can fill in this section here with a six and then another two there. And go right across there and go all the way around again. And like I say, if you want to change this light grey concrete to black concrete, make it a bit more nicer rather than stand out. So we've got all the way around the perimeter there, there now. And I've just realised I've, I haven't gone, <laughs> I've done it wrong here. So okay, I could just fill it in. Okay, so let's get this all done now. So quarter slab. And then we'll be done. Okay. And that's that section done. Go all the way around. Now the corridors uh, go into these cabins around the back down here. You could just fill them all in with quartz slabs. Okay. And then you fill in the centre. And it joins up nicely with the staircase. There you go. So we can start filling all these gaps in the middle now. So I can do this a little quicker for you. So if I put one slab there, one slab in the corner, time to do our good old friend copy and paste, or fill. There you go, so that saved a bit of time. Uh, same again, just got to make sure I get the right blocks, that's all. Two, three, one, two, three, uh, fill in the four. Okay, so I will leave one block there. Go right across the pommel block there and I'll fill that bit in now. Okay, and that'll get rid of that block, that is absolutely fine. And fill this, this right across here. I'm trying to make it interesting, guys. <laughs> I'm just putting a floor down. Okay, and then let's fill this all in here from that corner. Of course, we need to get all this filled in as well. Ah, trying to break the world record for laying the floor. Like I say, you can just fill it all out in. Like I say, I'll do that while I finish recording this video. There you go, that's that done. Right, let's just fill this in. Get rid of that. Get rid of the frame numbers. Go in the centre. Put one block there. Ah, one block there. Fill that all in now. There we go. And, fill. and we're done. Okay, brilliant. Right, so I'm going to leave it there now, guys. Uh, hope you like what you've enjoyed today. So, like I say, this is pretty much the aft grand staircase done now. We are getting there towards the end of B deck. So, like I say, we'll be pushing on to the restaurant. And I think, was it a library? I think it was the second class library. But also, we need to do a bit more of the staircase as well. And also, as well, while I did the jump cut, I've changed these quartz to pillar quartz as well. Just to make it a bit more nicer. But that is me done for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to consider to subscribe or leaving a link and share amongst your friends. Spread the word. <laughs> it does help the channel grow. But I'm going to go now, guys. And I'm going to see you all in the next one.